And welcome back to the Red Bull Team Brawl Hearthstone, uh, brought to you by the all new 2016 Honda Civic. Uh, we're about to jump into the match between, uh, I believe it's uh, Tempo Storm and Cloud9. Yes. Um, which are sitting behind us. And uh, both these teams, uh, they're coming off of a loss in their yeah. first matchup. So uh, it's going to be uh, tough for them to, you know, climb back and make it to that grand final stage. Of course, I'm TJ. Joining me is Hyped once again. How have you been your overall thoughts on, on the matches so far? I love hearing the player audio with the... Uh I love hearing both player audios. I don't know if the, the stream can't hear it, but I get to hear both, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we're going to try to get that incorporated, too, so you can yeah. hear the other team a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite part, for sure. Yeah, well, let's take a look at the leaderboard today uh, to see exactly how these teams are stacking up. So in the lead is Team Liquid. They have 12 match points so far. They've won both of their matches. 12 game points have won both of their matches. Uh, Archon, um, they did play against them. Uh, their game score right now is actually uh, seven, I believe. They won their first game five to four, and then they lost their second one uh, two, to, two to seven. So uh, Cloud9 and Temple Storm, the two teams we have behind us, those are the teams that are, are in a rough spot at the moment. They really need to sort of focus up uh, and get these decks some wins. Uh, even if they lose if they lose this match, they have no hope of getting there because yeah. there's not enough points in their last match for them to qualify. Exactly. They're the two kind of last place teams, so one of them has to beat each other. Um, important thing to note, though, is the teams do have uh, nearly full information on each other's decks. They, got, they have a much better idea they get to watch the stream i think i believe mm -hmm. for that match yeah um so they have they know what to play around but again it's arena so it's like do you play around that one card in the 30 yeah yeah and usually when you're playing around those fringe case scenarios yeah. it usually doesn't work out for you so um let's go over a little bit of the classes that we've seen so far because uh, i believe we've seen every single class now we've seen a lot of those high impact cards we watch the draft stage now so we're getting into the meat of things um well, we got no ro way. Dogs Rogue to guy the way. That was a, a 6-0 so far. Yeah. It looks like we're jumping in a match. So uh, one of the decks that was uh, impressed me earlier was Titus Priest deck, which is uh, featured on the screen right now. He'll be going up against the Warlock deck of Raynad. That's right. And Avellant's chosen, uh, to give you guys a little bit of a refresher, uh, this Tides deck had cards like Feel a Light Bane. It has... The double Valens. The double Valens and uh, Death Lord. So it's got a lot of snowball tools, but uh, I did have many one or two drops, which is, you know, a pretty big deal considering that Priest yeah. rely on getting tempo. They don't have many AOE spells in the deck. Excavated Evil is the only one. So it's going to be it's going to be rough for them. Oh, there's the brand. The brand did not get to do that much, but it has huge potential. And if we look at the Priest's hands, he has uh, no way to get on the board for a while. Yeah, and uh, Archthief Ratham, Ratham, of course, uh, gives those artifacts, one of the legendaries released with League of Explorers. Um, it, it, it's won a, a game today. Yeah, uh, not so. a card you see in Constructed that often, but mm -hmm. uh, we did see the 10-10 buff doing a lot of work. I wonder. Yeah, and... So we, we've seen this Warlock deck in action from Reynad, and I'm trying to look at the record here. Uh, Reynad, I believe, is 0-3 with the Warlock deck. No, he did win one of the games in their series before, so it's one and two. He struggled a little bit. The deck on paper seems seems really good. Uh, there's a lot of Battle Cry in combination with Brand Bronzebeard. There was a couple different AoEs as well. Um, they had they had Shadow Flame, Demon Wrath. And a Hellfire, uh, I believe, too. We and a Hellfire. We haven't seen it played yet. Yeah. But. So the removal is there. They have all the AoE. They have Big Game Hunter, which is crazy. And they do have the Elise Star Seeker, which is something that um, didn't really talk about too much, but uh, it, it was sort of a, a funny addition. Uh, to the deck if something goes really late game. I don't think it'll ever have an impact in these matches. Oh, the brand not getting value. Let's go ahead and take a listen into Tempo Storm, see what they're talking about. This is the play, right? Well. Do you want egg? What's up? Do you want egg? I think so, mm. but I'm not sure. Yeah, I like it. I guess I play. Uh. I can ease your pain. Temples from not being quite as communicative as Cloud Nine.
Yeah, it looks like they're not talking much either. So both teams sort of just sort of focus on their individual matches, which is, uh, you know, it, it's understandable. They got those the team elements out of the way. There's too, not too many decisions going on right now, and sometimes being disconnected from your own game can give you a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. I know, I heard Cloud9 talking a lot earlier, but it looks like they're also being pretty quiet now. Yeah. Maybe and just focusing on their own individual game. Yeah. Sometimes when you get someone else to jump in, when they don't really know what's been played, what, what's on the board, like what's active, for example, yeah. can be a little confusing. Yeah, they can <laughs> give you, oh, it's lethal. I mean, exactly. It's like, oh, no, that, lethal. that card was just played. Yeah. So, um, you know, what Raynat's trying to do here in this matchup is, uh, priests a lot of times uh, have very tall boards where they have a single creature that they buff up mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, what Rayna was trying to do, you know, before that excavated evil came out, was you know make his board really wide to make it so that uh, they, they were going to have trouble moving it. But the AoE spell is there for Tides, and this is looking, you know, pretty rough for Rayna. He does have to tap to sort of uh, replenish his resources, his cards, but uh, he needs high impact cards right away. Yeah, it looks like there's going to pass over. The Shade of Nax Ram is also one of those other cards that benefits a lot from um, from priest spells in general, like the Velen's Chosen, and you can heal it up so you can keep it going. And there's a Floating Watcher, so that is one of those cards that has immediate impact. Ren also draws into the Chromagus, which in combination with the Warlock Tap, Ooh. is going to give them a lot. Of, it's going to give him a lot of uh, longevity. Forced to trade it in because Holy Fire only does five damage, unless you have the. Villain's chosen, oh, of yeah. course. These are some weak turns from Tides. Like, really mana inefficient. Yeah. Uh, he will be able to play that Arch Thief next turn, but... Not before Chromagus does some Chromagus things. Yeah. And they're debating on whether or not they should play it, but I, I, I yeah. don't really think there's you still too... have one turn before uh, Mind Control, or and I'm pretty yeah. sure they know there's no Shadow or Death at this point, so I don't know what you're afraid of. Yeah. Uh, well, let's listen into Tempo Storm to see what they're talking about in regards to that Chromagus. Oh boy. So that gives plus 10, plus 10, or a bunch of 3 threes, or Avenging Wrath? Okay. I can beat that, maybe. It's a hell of a card. We have one Shadow Flame. Tap right there. Oh, seriously? <gasps> Is that good? <laughs> oh my God. I've got the beast. Is that good? <laughs> yes, Raynad, it is good. <laughs> oh my God. I think I, I lose, lose, man. Holy, my spell slingers are really losing me a lot. Rubber ducky. Oh hmm? shit. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, this is insane. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is at least. This guy's deck is crazy. Is it? Yeah. Everyone's deck is crazy. Yeah, there we have Halfway losing to Firebat Hunter. And then got a circle of healing. Yeah, and that's what you can see uh, on your screen right now. Yeah. And but you can uh, do this anytime. No, I don't think so. Well, if he kills anything. And yeah, the cards, the card that Eloise was uh, very excited about was Strife Crow Spellslinger gave her a Lay on Hands. Yeah. But he did pull an Ancestor's Call for himself. Yeah. And yeah, let's take a look at the matchup. Yeah, the um, mage versus shaman. Yeah, strife crow so there's versus the lay on hands that Eloise was asking Eloise. if it was good or not. <laughs> Is it good? Uh, what was funny there is we saw the BGH off the top, double BGH mm -hmm. from the Chromagus as well with the life tap, which um, you know straight up, straight up dealt with the uh, arch thief, which was pretty funny. And so you know a lot of crazy things happening back to back for for Tempo Storm there, a lot of swings in the matchup so uh, still no game has been has been finished completely yet we can see here a uh, cloud nine or strife crow has a huge card advantage but he's staring at a lot of damage and there's even a rock biter 
So if this Whirling Zapomatic isn't dealt with, then it's going to deal a lot of damage. Call pet. Call I, pet. I have a feeling that's not going to work. <laughs> not quite. Yeah. The spell swings have not been going in Starcraft's favor. Yeah. And this is a lot of damage, so they can trade in with the... Oh, it's really hard to read these upside down. They can trade in with the uh, Fire Guard Destroyer, and that's only 11 damage. Um, on one of the other matches, uh, Hafu has been defeated, her uh, Paladin deck, once again. She's struggling a lot with that uh, by the Hunter deck, so we'll check up on that matchup later. But um, here, Eloise is almost getting there for Lethal with the Rock Biter. That's one off lethal? Is that what that is? Yeah, well, I'm listening. Let's listen into Cloud9 as they discuss why it's not Whoa. so bad that they may have got swept this first round. Oh, the big swing for me was he big game my uh, Arch Thief. Uh. Do you have anything? No, that's that, that's 0 3. It's okay. Oh, geez. We still have potential to go 0 9. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> oh, Mally goes. Ah, oh, unlucky. Not lucky. Holy crap, we got it. Alright. Got 7 6 Fargo Destroyer, and I got like three dead cards from three spells. Alright, so as you could hear from them, that's a, a 3 0 sweep for Tempo Storm, and Tides was like, oh, this guy's deck is crazy. He big game hunter my, my Arch Thief for Fom, yeah. and uh, that's a really rough start and, for Cloud9. Yeah, and they're going to have to turn it around, like, right now, because, you, as you said, whoever loses this is probably going to be eliminated. Yeah. So they're going to need to get turn this around to 6-3 real quick. Not not only have, did they lose their first match, and they're down 0-3 in this one, yeah. uh, they only have one match remaining after this, so they need to win, and they also need to get a pretty good match score in their wins. Exactly. And they if they want to take out Archon, who is not... Super far up there in game wins. Mm -hmm. they, they only have seven. Okay. But uh, they, they still look like they have stronger decks overall after, you know, we've seen these first couple stages. So uh, the players are going to swap a little bit here. We're going to jump into Heat 2 um, in a moment. Uh, but there's, I mean, there's a couple things that could have went a lot better for Cloud9. Yeah, I mean, Spell Slingers, of course. Yeah. What else did we see? Um, well, just the BGH off the top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that was interesting, yeah. Chromagus versus the Arch Thief, mm -hmm. but then BGH. Yeah, they had a, a board clear where there was a shade of Naxxramas on the board for Tides, and he had a board clear. And it was all down to a couple taps in a row for Ringnad, but that could have gone completely differently. Oh, yeah, we were seeing him kind of behind before that excavated. Yeah. He was flooding the board into the excavated evil. Didn't yeah. want, did not work yeah, out, but well, then he recovered. Looks like we are jumping into heat number two here as the first matchup is beginning. Uh, so on your screen, it is the Hunter deck from Fiery Bat, and he's going to be taking on... Uh, the mage deck, uh, which is being piloted by Strife Crow. And, yeah, right on the side there, you can see 3-0 right now after the first heat for Tempo Storm. That's not the best opening hand. Arcane Missiles, yeah, but the North Sea Kraken in the opening hand. Oh, Frostbolt just made it a lot better. I don't know. I like, uh, like Firebat's hand a lot more with the Mad Scientist. And the tracking on one. That's happened like three mm -hmm. times where it hasn't been in the hand that he just draws it. Yeah. Was well, Firebats the deck that had... Um, Dart Trap Explosive. Dart Trap Explosive Trap and also a Dr. Boom in the deck? Yes. Yeah. So, a lot of good cards. Yeah, it's it's a really solid deck, and it did, you know, steal them a one win in their series. Almost a second win. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the and another one just now. Lethal, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and another one just now. Yeah, so let's listen in to uh, Tempo Storm's conversation to see what they're thinking about here. 3-2 hero power guy, because that's going to stabilize and get out of control, but... Okay, Houndmaster seems to be the best. Yeah. I want to go Scientist into Tomb Spider into Houndmaster. Oh shit, his turn was ping pass, that's crazy for me. Did I do this? Um, it's a very hard turn. I think that's risky. I think Imp Gang Boss is the safest oh, yeah. play. Okay. I'll show like, them. I'll show them the brand all. can get dealt with, and you may be able to find some turns where you play it and get synergy off of it. No. They already coined, though, so maybe that was the time before True Silver was a thing. 
but I think he's got cock hammers. Wow. Archon Lance as well. He has a lot of weapons. Oh, okay. Still, that's good for you. It doesn't deal with him Kang Boss very well, unless yeah. they have the abusive. Always oh, taunt totem. <laughs> You're pretty good at that. <laughs> so, now it gets interesting. If I play this, he's trading. Yeah. Life Buff tap and play. The egg. And yeah, trade. and just trade. I think that's probably right. Yeah, just getting the egg on the. As this the is threat. gonna be nuts later. I have so much for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, companion or tomb spider? I like companion. Mm -hmm. Better, better stats. Mm -hmm. Save your coins. Better in a lot of ways. I agree. <laughs> well, I've rolled Huffer three or three oh, times. Oh, he's gonna be so mad though. Dude, dude, that's dirty. Saving that brand paid off for sure. <sighs> I have to just smork, right? Ah, uh, <laughs> what if he, what if he fireballs? Then we're, then that puts me in a terrible spot. But if he doesn't you fireball, I win. You should game. probably still attack his dude. You're so far ahead anyway. Sure. He can't develop a five. He has to ping one of the next two turns. Like. That's a misplay. That is a misplay. It's it's, it's Star Trap, I think. It could be something else, but uh, no, no. You don't want to. You don't want to do that first. You want to ping first, then. You want to just take the five, right? What are you talking about? What? He doesn't I have mana. I'm not gonna play anything oh, else. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. I thought you had six mana. Hmm. Oh, he's BJHing now. Okay, chill, man. Then. Damn, I really wish I could do both. Hey, hmm? do you Argent Commander this? Or do you just chill ma? This is looking bad. See, thing. if you chill ma, you clear everything yeah. except 4 4. Uh, no? 2 4. Uh, and then 2 4. 6 damage so versus 9 damage. 6 but damage versus 9 damage. But it's like, what are you going to do next turn after clear that and he kills These your two? 2 1? Egg and chill together. That might. Hmm. I mean, I think I'm dead. Maybe I have to wait for turn eight and not play a dragon. I don't think he'll survive till then. So the, just kill this. The board sort of paints yeah, a picture I would hope that he can't. of exactly how these turns went. Yeah. Uh, he used the Bran Bronze Beard to make the the buff the egg to kill a Senjin with a Lance Carrier. Yeah. And then he sick. used the Abusive Sergeant, which also gets the double battle cry, mm -hmm. uh, to take out the Dragon Consort with the BGH because it brings it above seven attacks. So. Uh, pretty good use of, of Bran Bronze Beard, and that BGH has been putting in work for this Warlock deck from Raynad. Yeah, I kind of want to see on this deck, though, to see if the Deathwing comes into play before yeah. it's too late. If there is the Chill Maw. Yeah, look at Ooh. all these dragons that Dragon Consort's doing oh, so much work. I don't know if she's going to make it, though. One more turn until the Deathwing, even yeah. with the reduction. Uh, Sludge Belcher can be played, but uh, we can but see... No. Hmm. Yeah, there... yeah, it looks like that's going to be it. I yeah. Oh uh, well, ch can Chillmall do anything? No, because you can trade, just double trade. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go so back to, uh... let's take a look at Eloise's game with the shaman versus the priest uh, from Tides of Time. Uh, now that uh, the, that match is over, there we go, right there. Um, Eloise, uh, you heard her say earlier, she's been fantastic at rolling those taunt totems. Uh, we've, every time we've come to this feed, there's been a taunt totem on the board. So once again, Tides find himself in a situation where all his eggs are sort of in one basket. He's got that buffed up burly rock doll troll. But other than that, there's not much going for him. He's going to have to mind control to stay alive. Got the Rafam follow up looking pretty good. Yeah. And the one thing, though, is he needs to survive. So the hand's upside down. But there's two mechanical yetis, uh, flame tongue totem, whirling zapomatic, and the Amani berserker. And so there's always taunt totem. There's always taunt totem. Well, right, yeah, right now it's guaranteed. So, you know, this is one of the easy, yeah. <laughs> the easiest taunt totem to roll. But yeah, and I, I think the the trading is smart. Uh, she realizes that uh, Tides is pretty much out of cards, but the cards in his hand are pretty high value. Let's listen into the Cloud9 to see 
Uh, what Tides is thinking moving into these, this last turn? I did not get that one card. I, I can't play both of these. I need, I need yeah. to try to keep the mech. If he trades, he's at one, right? Six yeah. one. So, yeah. I think, okay, so it's something, it's something that triggers on face and dart. Maybe it's dart and, and uh, bear, or dart explosive, dart misdirect. Who knows? Mm. Guys. Dart bear kind of makes sense. I have bad news. What? Really is? Yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. Titan. Okay. It was new and close for me. Wait, maybe we could do zero nine. I don't <laughs> No. Okay. Wait, if we lose here? Yeah, we lost. I, I need exactly light bomb, and I don't have that in my deck. We have a situation. Shh. We have a situation, honestly. You don't have light bomb. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to get out of this without light bomb. Uh, Arch thief into hope she doesn't attack and then missile, missile everything down. Do you guys know uh, judo? No. Okay, everything to the face. Everything to the face. I need to freeze face, but it's probably explosive with the way it's played. I've got one plan. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Do you think it's worth it to play Dr. Boom first? Why? And then <laughs> proc <your> explosive. <laughs> to kill that with explosives? Let's I don't see. think you have a hero power. If I have <laughs> 7 damage plus 7 is 14 next turn. He um, has unleashed though. He hasn't hmm. played it, huh? Well, whatever. I'm gonna play boom and go face. So it's really not looking good for Cloud9. It's possible, but it's looking rough. You hear them talking. The striker was laughing at just the possibility of having to proc into the explosive trap. And, uh, I mean, even after this trade in, it's looking pretty grim. 21 health is a lot to get through. And I believe he does have lethal to unleash if he could afford. Oh, he can't afford everything. All right. Oh, he can. Okay. Yeah. And off the screen, we saw Eloise, it, you know, inevitably take out Tides. We saw that game a little bit earlier on. So uh, that's 6 0 for Tempo Storm right now, moving into the third heat. So they automatically get the match win. And that means Cloud9. I think that means that they don't even have a chance to make it to the, to the grand finals uh, after this loss because they don't have a chance now. They can get three wins to make it a 6 3 loss. Yeah. But after they lost in the first one, that exactly. would mean they would only have seven points. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit rough, but, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Hafu, her paladin deck is struggling a lot. Yes. Are we going to see C9 go 0-9? Oh, <laughs> that's actually we... really good for Tempo Storm. They'll yeah. take those free ones. Yeah. And, you know, we saw Tides joking about it a little bit, but um, the paladin deck has a lot of those huge bombs, but they're really not very impactful. We haven't seen Deathwing yeah. even come down, I don't think. too late. Yeah. One turn too late, and Nazdormu hasn't really been doing anything. And even Dr. Boom from Strife Girl's Mage deck has just not been performing. Yeah, the Dr. Booms have been a little weaker than we would have expected. Yeah. <laughs> Firebats hit the board, like, super late. Yeah. Yeah. It's good if the boards are in generally even states, uh, but uh, outside of that, it, it's just really weak. So it uh, looks like we are beginning with heat number three. So we'll see how this matchup uh, unfolds. Uh, one of the matches is going, and we'll see if Cloud9 can avoid the 9 but it's looking really it. hard. Then we have on your screen, it is going to be Eloise piloting that Shaman, and of course, once again, Hafu on the Paladin, looking to try and find a win in the series. Okay. You should well, listen to the Cloud9 here. Yeah, let's listen to Cloud9 discuss these opening strats. They can't possibly compete against our hands. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. actually a pretty good hand. Okay, we, we, we finally have stuff to do. I actually had a good start, but I had no... I had, like, all my late game mm. last game. My first drop was water on the last game. Damn. How much overload? <laughs> is, is there a weapon? Okay. Uh, he has Lava Shock. Uh, Stormforge Axe. Oh, That's all I saw for removal. Oh, and Hex. And then he has double uh, elemental, the four Which drop. Which one would you do? This is the most... Mm. Maybe this. I'd YOLO this. the 3-2, uh, right? But then Lava Shock or Axe. Axe would be GG. 
I'm, I'm, I'm the yellowing type, you know. I don't think the odds that he has axe are extremely high, but, you know, it could punish you, you yeah. know. But I'm greedy. Also, their decks are better, so. Oh, play man. I decided to go for the spell slinger next turn. I wonder. Well, Strife Crow is putting a lot of eggs in the spell slinger basket, so uh, let's take a look at the Rain adverse Strife Crow matchup and uh, head over to the Warlock versus uh, Mage game. Uh, this one's going along pretty well. There you go. You can see it on your screen. Uh, once again, the big game hunter in the hand for Raynad. Uh, nothing to really use it on. We do know that Dr. Boom is in Stripe Crow's deck, but not in the hand at the moment. Looks like Sinister Strike versus Multi-Shot. What would you take there, Hyped? The Multi-Shot. Yeah. Although, actually, yeah, definitely the Multi-Shot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No question. Yeah. Raynad's deck is actually really solid, that Warlock deck. We talked about the clears, but it also has super good activators for the eggs. Uh, or sorry, uh, Lance Carriers for the Nurubian Egg, Power Overwhelming, and Strifeco has just struggled. His curve is really good, but like most mech-focused decks like he has, if you fall behind on the board, you rely so much on your AoE, and he can't refill fast enough in order to come back, and that's where a lot of his losses have, have come from. Now, who do you want to listen to here? Cloud9 as they fight for their yeah, losses. Uh, let's listen into Temple Storm, actually, because we haven't heard uh, what they're saying yet. So let's see what Rain is thinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to clear the board this turn. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of how. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just doing this, and I don't know if I want to commit the Dire Wolf as well. Well, I guess it's before turn five, so Execute Evil can't happen. Yeah, I, I need help. <laughs> oh, I can barely see the screen. Yeah. Um, can I return it? I, want, I'm, I have this option, right, with this. Yeah, double value trade good. saboteur, yeah. You like that more oh, than yeah. it? Because I can make this this attack and trade. No, I don't like it. I want to be a gr as greedy as possible. Yeah, be as greedy. Okay. Oh. Ah. You, you, have, you have this. What what are you afraid of? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, yeah. Do I rock bitter that? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't really like it. Yeah, I just trade. Mm -hmm. Sometimes lucky. Uh, do I just tempo this? Did you see the targets for this? Is there no, a BJ no. targets a mage? No. I didn't see I it. didn't see any. Oh, you said it had blizzard? Yeah, it had blizzard, though. I don't remember if he coined or not, because I suck. It I doesn't know. matter. He won't play Blizzard uh, for this. Yes, he will. I've got the beast in my sights. I'm going to play this. Let's actually head over and take a look at the uh, Eloise versus uh, Hafu matchup. The Shaman uh, versus Paladin again. Uh, to see where Eloise is standing. She's ha been having a lot of success. This is actually the Hunter versus Priest. There we go. Um, Ooh, uh, once like again, head on board. And Muckle's Champion, uh, we saw that be sort of the MVP for one of Elo Eloise's games in their match versus um, Liquid, I believe, earlier. So, And look at this. Hoff is r running out of resources still. No huge dragons in the deck. Wow. Uh, not like this. <laughs> You can tell Firebat's focusing a lot yeah, by his bad. heavy breathing. He's over there in the corner. He's smorking it up. How many Shadow Word deaths did you see, if any? No. I, I saw he zero. In okay. tomb and a mind control. That was just fire about wondering if you should play the Draconid. Yeah. Let's actually head over and, and take know. a look at the Hunter matchup. There you go. Okay, I like this. Kind of. Yeah, 
Yeah, this actually sets up for, <laughs> as we're overlaid with <laughs> the heavy fire back breathing, yeah. uh, this actually sets him up for to be able to ar Archmage, or sorry, Akanai Soul Priest and uh, Light of the Naru if he trades into this. And you can't kill it right now. Uh, but Ooh. there's the Iron Beak Owl from the Tomb Spider. And that's going to allow him to I push through. I just got through. Iron Beak Owl off of this. <laughs> wow. That's really Six, dumb. Seven. You clear that, right? Oh, no, you don't. Drag no stupid! How good do you think this flame maker will be? <laughs> All right, let's head over to that uh, strife I mean, like matchup. Uh, it looks like it's it's Just coming to I a little duplicated. bit of an end. Uh, the mage versus the warlock, uh, strife curl versus the let's see, war uh, versus Raynad. Trades the two four ones in. In a way, yeah, I like I like just using the duplicate first spells. That's good. That's better. Oh, the snipers. It's, it's potential lethal. Oh. Shots. If you actually hit the imp, it would have given Raynad lethal with the power and the and So strength. this always happens, right? Uh, how big wow. is a 5-4? Yeah. So this happens. I think I just bulge and play this and trade there. Like, I don't think I want to... I don't yeah, care that's fine. much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if he, like, silences, it's like whatever. It's, it's fine. You can take the damage. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Where the hell am I tracking? Let's, let's go listen to <laughs> Tempo Storm, see if uh, Raynet's going to play around the Flame Strike. Uh -huh. He's got to be thinking about it. You sure? What about Flame Strike? No. Have you seen Flame Strike? No, 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 no. <laughs> so, do I trade? Uh, I think so. No, what? Raynet, there's uh, no Flame Strike. He has duplicate. He yeah, I still but trade? he only has two cards in hand. So trade, trade or no? Trade. So, wait, why would you trade if he has duplicate? Do I do I make this he trade? He haven't got much spell in hand. I think, I think face? It's, he should fizzle out if you just go all face for the rest of the game, right? Yeah. You have damage too. Famous last words. Some a little bit at least. <laughs> no. I got, I got, oh. Let's listen to Cloud no, real quick. Or, actually, no, let's stay here. Let's stay here. It's fine. Okay, we lose the game. Probably. Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't lose, but I'm not happy. Mm, let me see. No, Dark Trap! Oh, I forgot that's a card. <laughs> Shit. Let's take a look now at the what? Priest versus XD. Hunter game that they're referring to. It's actually coming down to the wire uh, between those two no. decks. Uh, Ty still only traps, has one card though. remaining. Did you check the face and, uh, trap? So the does. So it could be explosive. Uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just not going to heal myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Chromagus came out. Oh, Polypore. Do you think I'll hit this one? What do you think my odds are killing this thing are? What the heck? Did he have a freezing? He had explosive and dart. Those are the two. Oh, no. Okay. I missed. Wait, um, is this right order? OK. I feel like I can't trade wow. here. MC tech my Argent Commander. Do you think there's a trade here? That's the worst one. Because I have duplicate down. How many fingers do you see? I missed both. I think I would just trade. Because you don't have any spells in your hand. Oh, and shit. honestly... It makes sense. The thing is, this is kind of zoo, right? There's like too many things you can snowball that with. Weirdly, like Argus. Yeah. What? Just, he only has eight cards left. Plus, that's not a great card duplicate. I'm just scared if I don't like force him to trade there, he will just never trade. What secret was it? Dart? Yeah. Oh. It killed my uh, Holy Champion. Well, he played both his secrets. Only has eight cards left somehow. He tracking, do you remember? Wait, which, did he MC tech you? Yeah. Still the 4-1? Oh. Uh, okay, well, he's out of cards. Yeah, I should win. Okay. Okay, that's so pretty trade, good. Trade, trade, trade. Trade. Play this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, let's <laughs> take a look into uh, Tempo Storm once again. Uh, it seems like Eloise is on the ropes here. It's still just fire bad. 
Okay, force tank's pretty good. Not yeah. good enough though. It's a, a great rip off the top there. And, and the top totem. Uh, you could you could hear them talking about it as well. Um, uh, Cloud Nine, that is, saying, "Oh, uh, she's out of cards. There's nothing left." So, uh, pretty much, you just flood the board with the highest power creatures uh, you can. And it, it feels like uh, Cloud Nine or, or Hoffa with this Paladin deck is finally in a situation where she's uh, going to be able to uh, win a game. Um, let's uh, go over and take a look at the Mage versus Warlock. That's Strife Crow uh, versus Raynad once again. Uh, Stripe Crow is in a position where he has no cards left. None. And Raynad sold a lot of resources. He's got those AoEs. So, again, looking so grim for Stripe Crow. Yeah. Raynad just refusing to give uh, the duplicate value to Stripe Crow. Yeah. And we got a little bit inside Firebat before. Pretty much just said, hey, if you go face for the rest of the game, you just burn him out. Yeah. Uh, duplicate, of course, is a they, they pinpointed as being duplicate early on. They knew that was the only secret. Because we heard them talking last game, they said, oh, they only have one secret? That's bad. So... Uh, now you can pretty much just play the long game, and this is going to give them duplicate value, but it's also going to put that Nurubian on the board and make use of their AoE. Yeah, and that's one off a lethal setup, I believe, because the Refreshment Vendor plus the Nurubian 7, the Sinister Strike plus the... Oh, there's no more power, okay. Yeah. He must use the power. Yeah, and Hafu, of course, uh, inevitably, as we, we saw, yeah. did just take a win. So that means that Cloud9 has finally put themselves on the board for this series. Six to one right now, as these last two games are going to be wrapping up. Uh, let's um, head over and check out the Tides uh, versus uh, yeah, Firebat matchup real quick. It's about to end. Yeah. And then we'll switch back. Mm -hmm. There we go. I think we're about to see a concession. Yeah. Uh, there's not lethal on board. Uh, there's still 13 damage, so there's going to need to be one more. Uh, but I don't think there's too much of a way. Uh, Strikemeister can allow for some better trades. And, uh, but it looks like... Was, was there a Cold Master in Firebat's deck? Yes, and there's also the Unleash, which mm, I don't think it's enough at this point. Yeah, well, they, would, they would need two draws in a row. I guess Cold Master maybe into Unleash could yeah. open up some possibilities. I think this game is over, but I kind of want to stick around just in case something crazy happens before we swap back. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Always a consideration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the VM. <laughs> All right, let's listen into Cloud9 to see what their thoughts are on this these final moments. He, uh, Does he have Ragnaros? I would just hear yourself. What, what are you playing around? I don't know. I just feel like trolling. Yeah. I can't hear you. I just feel like trolling. Yeah, I Just relaxing. Oh. Oh! Seven, but I don't have a fireball, huh? Let's see. You have a frostball. Do you still have it? Uh. And a kraken. But that's not enough. That's not enough, huh? Not enough burn in my deck. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's enough value in my deck to win either, but. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Dr. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh. Oh, oh we got a chance here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a world this works. Uh, we need him to heal a brick. Yeah, he needs to brick here, and my last card's got to be... My last card's Dr. Boom. So, I have Dr. Boom after this. Oh, my God, he got Death Lord. That's no good for me. That's the end, then. Death Lord seals it. It's enough damage. I'm out of cards. All right, well, that is going to be the end for that matchup. Let's swap over to the Mage vs. Warlock to see yeah. uh, the final moments from that. And Man, a... one turn too late, you know. Yeah. If he would have bricked on that turn, though, I would have had him. Anything but Deathwing. <sighs> All right, what is he doing? He's giving him a chance and opportunity to lose here. Man, if that would have hit the boom button, hit the Death Lord for four, he could have lost. <laughs> he gave me like a, a one in however many. A one in a hundred something. Yeah, Tide's decided to play. Yeah, all right. Well, with that, it oh, looks right. like. That's pretty good. Uh, so Raynat uh, did take that victory. Um, and I believe that's an eight to one. Oh, no. Uh, seven yeah. to two. Sorry. Because uh, Tide's did pick up a victory. So yeah, barely. Seems he Barely. almost threw, he, uh, for the the players, uh, the, the stream missed that, but he played a Shadow Boxer and then healed it and then it shot, almost shot the Boombot. But uh, yeah. Which could have been Before bad. Attacking, it could have been course, bad, yeah. Ties. 
Uh, but, you know, that was a rough showing from Cloud9. They managed in the last heat to take a couple of victories, but uh, I believe that means they do not have a chance to yeah. move on to the grand finals. They have a total match score of seven uh, at the moment, and even if they completely win their last one, well, maybe. Okay. There might be a possibility for them to take second. We'll have to go back we and look at that one. The Temple Storm squad to help us with the math. Yeah, but 72 victory is, is a pretty good result. Um, Definitely. Um, for Temple Storm, so they're gonna got to be really happy about that. Their decks performed uh, quite a bit better than they had in their first matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, the guys aren't necessarily as hyped as they were earlier on because they're looking forward to to that last match that they have to play uh, moving out. But with that heat over, uh, we are gonna go to a quick break before we jump into uh, match number five of the day. But guys, don't go anywhere. More Red Bull, Red Bull Team Brawl action will continue right after this break.